There's some stuff I just didn't know. And I bet you, you guys don't know either. Let's take a look. All right, everyone, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today, we are going to talk about the differences between the old packout system and the new one. Because I bet you there's some stuff that you don't know, since I didn't know, and I did a lot of research before I bought these. Let's take a look. As you can see, size-wise, they're actually kind of comparable. If I had the vacuum cleaner and everything on here, it'd be very similar. One of the things I want you to take note of listen to the sound. Let's take a look at this one. Quite the difference, huh? This guy here is almost completely silent, while the old one. Once it's loaded down, it makes a considerable amount of noise. But what else do you think? I mentioned once before that I felt a little shaky. Well, this one definitely feels shaky. But here's something that's very important for you guys to understand. When this guy is loaded up, I'm six foot tall. You can see at about waist height, this one here wants to fall down. And it only gets worse the more weight that I put into it. And the reason that is because of where the wheel is located compared to the, the load itself. Take a look at where my wheel is located. Almost all the weight, if this is the fulcrum, almost all the weight is on this side. So you're holding all the weight in the handle. And when this guy's loaded down, it is nothing to have 20, 30 or so pounds here at the handle while you're pulling it. And if you're pulling over a distance, you're going to feel it. Trust me. If it's considerable. Now let's take a look at this guy. I'll hold it at the same height. This one is probably, it's probably 300 pounds right now, two to 300 pounds. Take a look at this. My hands are open grip. The cutoff point is down here in between my waist and my knees. That's when it wants to fall. But it balances here at waist high. See that? So it glides almost effortlessly. I could actually maneuver this with one hand while it's completely loaded up with all my tools. And I think that that's actually pretty considerable. When you are going down long hallways and you're trying to steer it straight and true, this one is so much easier to steer than this one because all the weight on this one is on the handle. Whereas this guy, all the weight is sitting exactly on the wheels. They really did some research to balance this guy out. Take a look at where my wheels are at and how much load is on that side of the wheels because of the design of this dolly system. So there's a couple things that I told you guys I wanted to change. If you look on the bottom, you can see that I did put some pads down there because I want it not to be metal on linoleum. But at the same time, there is some other stuff that I did. Here on the back, See, I added one blue strap that goes around the metal bars, then around the chassis of the dolly. So when I lift it, there's no flex because when it's completely loaded up, all the strain is on the cleats at the bottom. Now, the strain is being shared between this strap and the cleats on the plate. So it feels much more secure I'll tell you guys what, me just going around with this guy with one hand is so much less strain than this one over here. The only difference is this one here, when you go to stand it up, 
you have to use a foot down at the bottom. You have to use a foot like you would a traditional hand truck because that is where the load wants to be. It wants to be forward instead of aft. So you put your foot down on the axle and you give it a slight kick and away you go. The fact that I can maneuver it with one hand is such a huge plus and I have not heard anybody talk about that yet. All right guys, I wanted to show you my typical loadout. That's the old system. This is the new one. And currently, I have consumables in the top drawer, wrenches, drivers, pliers, hammers, wrenches, big kits, um, meter leads, meter fasteners, and that's uh, actually rubbing alcohol. And down here, I've got all my battery powered tools in the bottom drawer. They take a lot of space, a lot of weight. We want to keep the weight as bottom heavy as possible. You can see the vacuum snaps on the top. My bag snaps on the top. And this actually gives me a nice work surface, which I had to utilize yesterday. But also, I got these grab handles. So if I need to pull it out to maneuver my box around, I use the grab handle to do it. So that is actually a wee bit better. I used to just grab the handles on the front if I need to pull it out away from the edge. But these bars work just as well. So there it is. Anyway guys, that is it for my new system and my old system over there. They have their pluses and minuses. One of them is lighter, one of them is heavier. One of them is way more convenient. It rolls around much more easily than the other one. But I like it. Thanks for watching.